Hannah Rarick. I'm a fourth year student at Willamette. I'm a physics major, math minor. I'm from Edgewood, Washington, and I've been a part of the music program all four years. Hi, I'm Roscoe, he, him, his. I am a sophomore music major from Seattle, Washington. My name is Ciel Pope. I use she, her pronouns. I am a junior theater transfer student, and I am currently in Port Townsend, Washington. Well, the one thing I like about the music facilities at Willamette is there's access to the smaller practice rooms where I can just practice, but we even have practice rooms um, where there's several pianos if I want to have um, like a duet with someone or bigger size for small groups and ensembles. Um, and I think that we have enough of the different sizes of practice rooms that it's easily accessible to, you know, meet with other musicians on the weekends to collaborate um, or even during a, finding like a class to uh, practice in as well. Sure, so we have a beautiful concert hall, Hudson Hall, um, as it's one of the most beautiful concert halls I've ever been in. Um, we have two full-size concert grand pianos in there and have had many incredible performances from choirs, concert bands, wind ensembles, orchestras, uh, you name it, we've had concerts in there and it's a really amazing space to sing in, to play in, and I love it in there. Another thing we have is the forward recording studio, uh, which uh, after uh, two semesters of training, you can use for... Uh, Professor Nord is always open to new recording project ideas. Uh, for example, last semester, my acapella group uh, recorded a single that is soon to be on YouTube and Spotify. It probably the, the biggest one is the main space, which is um, a very large black box theater. Is it large for a black box theater? Beautiful black box theater. Um, and what's so special about working in a black box theater when you're a theater student learning to be a theater artist is that it's probably the most versatile theater space. And so, you know, when you're learning to do this professionally, you want to become the most versatile artist possible. And so that's a, that's a huge benefit. Uh, the music facilities are actually really accessible on campus. Uh, you don't have to be a music major to gain access. Um, you can sign up and request 24 hour access to Rogers, which is really nice. So I know if you have a late night setting, you still have access to to practice before lessons or or what be it. Um, you don't have to be a music major to practice in the rooms. I'm personally not a music major and I'm able to easily access the, the facilities. Um, the nice thing is that we have several buildings that have practice rooms in it. So if you can't find a practice room in um, Smith Auditorium building, uh, you can find access in Rogers. For the recording studio, you need to take, um, for one of them, we have actually two recording studios. For our little studio, you need to take one semester of um, desktop music production. And for our large studio, you need two semesters. But um, even if you don't take those courses, if you talk to the professors and have a really good idea, then you can do something and make something cool. Class is scoring sections of films. And for that, I use Logic Pro, which um, the school has copies of, and uh, we can use school computers to um, basically plug in uh, video and audio and rescore films. But then through the music production sequence, you also learn both Logic and Pro Tools to um, move ahead in uh, music production journeys. It's really important with a theater building that rooms remain accessible to students to practice their scenes. So for acting classes, if you're an acting student, or I'm sure with directing, if you're um, directing a scene, choreography, I know the dancers use, use the building as well and the dance shows. Um, I know that I, I rehearsed several times in the space and it was made accessible to me, which I really, really appreciate it uh, because nothing's nothing's quite better. Nothing helps you out more as a theater student 
working in the space, getting to play around. It's a lot better than sort of trying to work your way through your room and <laughs> figure out your blocking and make acting choices when you're, you know, when your cat's jumping up on you or your dog or your bird or your fish. I don't know if a fish would jump up on you, but it just, um, it gives you a lot of room and a sense of being in a professional space and it kind of turns your acting brain on and keeps your energy in and um, having a designated space for that where you have your classes just sort of, for me, helps me stay sharp, helps me make choices, take risks, um, do all that very dramatic acting stuff. My first interaction with the main space was through actually putting in the audience seating. And so I physically got to experience how fluid the theater space was and to really think about, you know, audience perspective and how that changes a piece. And um, for example, right now I'm taking a scenic design class and uh, our first assignment is to design Hamlet. And so while I'm working with this little model, I get to think back on how I actually move those big pieces. And I have a, a broader understanding of how an audience sees a space and how you want an audience to see a production. I'm actually a part of an accompanying class where I collaborate with a couple of other musicians each semester. And so it's pretty common for me to meet with them on a regular basis uh, where we can collaborate in a variety of practice facilities uh, where it's big enough that if we need to put uh, or practice with a cellist, we can fit space in there as well. I've even had it where we do small ensembles. So I think it was violinist, a violist and a cellist, as well as the pianist, who was me. Um, and we were able to find spaces to fit all of us. So pretty nice. I've taken private lessons all four years, and I study with Professor Cohen, who is one of the main piano professors on campus. Well, one thing that's unique about our um, performance space in um, Rogers is the main hall, you can adjust the acoustics. Um, for your like desired effect. So for different concerts, if you want to change this acoustics, uh, that's definitely possible. Um, the other thing is that since Willamette is a smaller size school, we have access to, um, like it's fairly easy to get access to pretty good practice rooms. Uh, I never really have any difficulties accessing the piano during the week, which is um, a pretty big deal. Perform at various convocations, which are miniature recitals held every other Tuesday that provide an opportunity for students to show their work to their friends and fellow students and other faculty that are at, and each performer is at a different stage in where they are with the music. So you could have just started it earlier in the semester or it could be a piece you've learned for years. And it's just a nice opportunity to um, show everyone what you're working on. We have a kind of music production slash piano lab in Ford um, that has a bunch of keyboards and computers with that are all loaded up with all the software you need for notation and music production. In an educational setting, a black box is so ideal and this is a really great one. It's got a nice grid, good place to hang lights, an excellent scene shop right beside it, a giant scene shop. Um, and we're rotated through each of the, like the costume shop and the lighting shop and uh, the scenic shop, the costume shop and the lighting design. And so we get to experience each of these spaces and each of these um, different forms of theater. So it's just a, it's just a stunning theater, like coming in and I know it, it's the inside that matters, but from first and impression perspectives, walking, there's like lions flanking you as you walk in the building. It's got this beautiful piano, beautiful exposed brick, the classic maze of a basement theater with beautiful like archways. And um, I felt very, very at home. It's very, it's very classic setting, very easy to recognize each of the places, but also very exciting because they're so beautiful and light. And it's a good, space to 
begin working in if you're kind of new to scenic design and working with tools. Um, there's lots of space, especially right now with COVID. It felt very safe all the time. The practice rooms are an incredible are an incredible resource. Um, just come in there at any hour of the day or night uh, to sing, play, scream if you need it. Um, and uh, it's like you learning by practice is really helpful. But then also going back to using the recording studio, um, like you're able to. Um, work with faculty and work in these spaces to create and create art and sing and play and do some really cool things. I actually really like the way that the private lessons are like structured on campus. Uh, I meet once or twice a week with my professor for about an hour. And the amount of time you meet with them is flexible. So if you want a half credit versus a quarter credit, will vary how many hours a week you meet with them. Um, and it's very uh, personalized. So uh, we can set goals every year, or every semester on what it is I want to accomplish, the music I wish to learn. And um, it's been a nice experience to, I think the way that I've structured it is every year I started different collection of pieces and the private lessons are an opportunity to, for me to get some one-on-one -on -one time with the professor uh, to work through these pieces throughout the year. Even when faced with so many um, challenges of being in person, which is such a huge part of theater and the theater making process, we were still able to hit all of the necessary points of rehearsal and learn and ask questions about them. So we had first read, designer meetings, um, tech week, got to experience that in all of its rugged glory. Um, we still got to gather the first couple of weeks were on Zoom, um, but we still got to hear people read. And that's the most important part is when you're just doing table work anyway, to listen and to ask questions about your character and character relationships and dramaturgy stuff. Um, but that connection was really important. And I didn't know I'd be able to do that with everything that's happening right now, but the effort made towards making that initial contact um, and then going forward and splitting off into much smaller in-person rehearsals really meant a lot to me as a new part of the company. We were in the upstairs movement studio and I know there's several more, but that's the only one I was in. Um, the first time I saw it, I just felt like, I just thought, oh, I can't wait to get in there, move around. And uh, it's just a beautiful space. It's it's light, it's airy. It's um, a kind of a perfect place for rehearsals. It's spacious. Um, and that's where we were for most of our time. And then we moved to the black box um, when the set was partially up. We got down there to really experience the flow of one scene to the next and to figure out scene transitions because that was the space we'd be performing in. Um, so yes, most of the acting work is usually done in the studios. It's kind of the staple of the studio is that's where the acting happens. That's where the questions happen. And then all that movement and, and the tech coming together and the costumes that happens usually in the main space. And that's what happened for this process. Well, my favorite part about being a part of the Willamette music program is that you can totally decide how involved you want to be. And I know when I was choosing to pick a, when I was trying to pick a college, I really was passionate about the piano, but I didn't know if I wanted to be a music major or if it was just a hobby that I wanted to pursue while in college. And Willamette provides an amazing opportunity where you can participate as much as you want um, and completely control you know, what types of things you want to participate in. So for example, I'm not a music major, but I've taken lessons all four years. I've participated in ensembles and, you know, smaller collaborations. And I even am preparing for a concerto 
um, with the orchestra. And a lot of these things I don't think are possible at bigger schools if you're not a music major. And so it was really a big deal to me that Willamette would allow me to participate in all these different ways without me committing to the department as a major. Uh, the experience of being able to have uh, the song my acapella group did profession or recorded to a professional level has really allowed me to boost my resume. And um, the other ni really nice part about going to a smaller school is that it's really easy to get grants to do things outside of school. So this summer I've applied for a grant to produce um, five tracks or an EP and um, produce that outside of school. So the training I've gotten from uh, just the classes that I've been in, as well as the things I've done outside of classes with the music department recording and uh, working in other small groups has allowed me to gain the experience to um, write and um, hopefully get this grant to do the project I want to do. The material we've worked with in class and I've only been at Willamette for a semester and a half, and I've already worked with Shakespeare, with Chekhov, um, and with, most importantly, a wide, a wide arrangement of modern playwrights. I think one of my most significant experiences was being in a Pacific Northwest playwriting class and having so many guests come in and speak to us. Almost every single play we read, we got to meet the playwright of that play. And that's an experience that I've never had before, which was really, really, really special. And um, especially right now featuring BIPOC artists and asking those crucial questions, we were given endless amount of resources. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to think, I think that's probably the most important thing because when you're becoming a professional, you need to have experience working with all sorts of playwrights and to actually be able to work with them is super special and to ask them questions um, and to get feedback. That's always the, that's, yeah, that's always the most beneficial part.